So I've made quite a few videos now about photo books, and they're usually the books that I've just bought or are finding inspiring. And a lot of the time these books are quite rare or hard to find and sometimes expensive. So I thought maybe it'd be a great idea to make a video about some photo books that I think everyone should own that are easily accessible and affordable. So all of these books are around 20 to 30 pounds and you can buy them on Amazon. Even so, with Prime, they could be here tomorrow. The Open Road, Photography and the American Road Trip by David Campany. This book, curated by Campany, is a collection of excerpts of work featuring some of the best photographers in the world. I have to admit, I am just a huge sucker for work about America, but everything in here just is incredible. It's rammed full of work from people such as Stephen Shaw, Alex Soth, Todd Heido, Ryan McGinley, Robert Frank, Joel Sternfield, and much more. At the beginning of the book is a pretty mammoth essay all about the idea of the American road trip. And then it's followed by excerpts of all the series from the photographers, and then some really cool graphics at the end that display where the photographers travelled whilst shooting. It's a surprisingly thick book, I didn't think it was going to be this big when I bought it, and for the price, you definitely get to see a lot for your money. Next up we have one of the books that was actually in one of the excerpts, it's Uncommon Places by Stephen Shaw. So maybe I'm a bit biased because he's one of my favourite photographers, but Shaw is such a master of his craft and being able to see his photos in print is something that I feel like everyone should do. Every photo is so meticulously composed and thought through, and even though I've never been to most of the places photographed and I wasn't even alive when he took them, they give off this incredibly nostalgic feel. There's not much I have to say about his work other than just insisting that you go out and get it. It's really affordable and you can even check out his other body of work, American Surfaces, which is some of his 35mm photography, unlike the large format 8x10 work in Uncommon Places. They're both amazing and they're both really affordable. We then have Essential Elements by Edward Patinsky. Part of me feels like this is a bit of an uncommon choice, but personally I feel like this is an incredibly important body of work. Patinsky has an amazing ability to photograph landscapes in a non-traditional way, and the book is all about highlighting our impact on the earth and the issues of climate change and whatnot. The photos are so detailed and large and have this really unnatural look, which really provokes you to actually give thought about what we're doing to the planet. The kind of unfamiliar, alien style of the images really puts it into perspective. I think most of his work is shot on an 8x10 large format camera and I'm just a sucker for anything with that much detail. The book also features a lot of pull-out pages which fold out to give you extra viewing space which allows you these really cool kind of panoramic images and it's really cool to be able to see prints that big from just a standard book. Next on the list is William Eggleston's Guide. This is a book that highlights the first ever solo show and colour publication at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Eggleston was one of the first adopters of colour photography. And I think it's really cool to see how previously colour was used in an artistic sense when everyone was unfamiliar with it. It's quite common to take it for granted now since we're all used to it. And I know we've already made the colour is important in colour photography joke a few times now. But it really is. And I think this book is a great example of it. And finally, the last book in the list, I thought we'd throw a bit of a British twist since it's been so American. We have The Last Resort by Martin Parr. So this book is all about horrible scenes of the decaying holiday park in New Brighton. And it's jam-packed of these pretty grotesque images which make you question why it was ever a thing. The scenes and compositions throughout the book are just phenomenal. And if you've never seen it before, it's definitely worth picking up. Personally, I just can't believe this existed. And that's why I find it so fascinating. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, uh, we'll have another video soon of actually out and about shooting. 
things have just been pretty busy since getting back and having to edit all of the LA stuff. If you fancy picking up any of the books, you can do so in the description, I've linked them all, and I hope this gave you some inspiration or something to think about. So thank you for watching, and I'm sure there'll be another video soon.